What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a gun? It's Philly, it's Taz, it's the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. Hey guys, what is up? It's Philly, it's Taz, we're back with a new one. Uh, Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Shaq, and Kobe. Um, this came out about a week ago. It's got 4.7 million views. It is trending heavy. It's, I'm assuming it's hip-hop because that's what I know them to do. Um, I don't know if this song is about Shaq and Kobe or if they're saying they're the Shaq and Kobe of rap, you know, like, you know, the goats or whatever. Who knows what this is? But, uh, you know, Rick Ross uh, has been around a while. Obviously, they've both been around a while. But, um, you know, I like I like some of Rick Ross's stuff, actually. I like his voice, uh, uh, you know, and his beats are usually pretty dope. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure if he's considered – um, kind of whack or not anymore. I know, like, I, he's been around for a while. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I I don't listen to a lot of his stuff anymore, but I like a bunch of his shit that I've heard, like, you know, on the radio or when I was going to the clubs and stuff and he had a lot of, like, a lot of his remix stuff out. Like, when I was more into that scene, I heard a lot more Rick Ross, some of his, like, mixtapes and shit. I like his voice. I like his beats. But I just don't know if he's considered, like, a, you know, if, if he's, you know, kind of like a, is he considered washed? Is he still in? I, I genuinely don't know. But I'm, I'm assuming if this shit's trending, uh, that, that he's probably still pretty popular. Now, Meek Mill, he's a Philly boy. You know, he's an Eagles fan, Sixers fan. Dreams and Nightmares, a song that was, uh, you know, very uh, heavily played during the Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl run a couple years ago. So, uh, but, I, you know, I like Meek Mill as well. Um, I know he is... Not everybody's taste, but uh, I absolutely have no issue with it. So this should be a, an interesting collaboration. I have a, I have a feeling I'm gonna. Um, I know I, I just have a feeling I'm gonna like the beat, but we'll see. I, I like a lot of Rick Ross beats, and 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 we'll see what we get here. But Taz, I know I'm sure you've had to have heard of both of these guys. I assume you know who Shaq and Kobe is. So if not, then I don't know what to say. But yeah, feel free to give your thoughts, and we'll get into it. I know who they are, but the other names. I think in a Rick Rick Ross. I don't know. I mean, when I see his face, I'll probably know his face. But I'm. I keep thinking of that. He's that guy, who was like, Big's, Suge Knight. Okay, that's what, all right. Never mind. Never mind. Well, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking Rick Ross and Suge Knight was the same person. All right. Well, listen, you're not close. But the only thing I will say is not that they look alike, but Suge Knight was a big dude with a big beard. Rick Ross is a big dude with a big ass thick beard. So, I mean, okay. to that to that degree, I'll give you something. Maybe that's what you're thinking, but he ain't fucking close to Suge Knight. What? That, well, man. if you gave me something because they look similar, even, then even now you know why I thought it was the same person. Alike. See that? See that? Even uh, you think all black people look alike? Yes, Meek you Mill. do. <laughs> Meek Mill. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. But anyway. Um, this is Philly's song suggestion. Like 95% of our songs that we do are from you, our fantastics. And 5% occasionally, Philly or I will say, hey, I heard, I see this is trending, or hey, this looks like a good song. So this one is all Philly's if you don't like it. If you do like it, it's Philly and mine. So no, uh, let, me, let me just clarify one thing. Yeah, it was my selection. It was not because it was something where I was like, oh, I'm dying to hear Rick Ross or Meek Mill. It was more about it's trending, it's popular, it's got a lot of views, and we're trying something new. I mean, him and I are hip-hop fans, but I would say that we haven't done a lot of hip-hop on this channel. We know it's not everybody's cup of tea, um, but we want to keep the channel diverse, and we want to check out all different types of stuff. So that's, that's what it really comes yeah. down to. I, I do like that they're old school, so hopefully it's an old school vibe because I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of all of today's current raps. Not all of them. There's some I like current, but then there's some I don't like. It's totally changed a lot since the '70s and the '80s and the '90s rap. But 
these are OGs, um, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully they kind of left that type of flavor. We'll see in a moment. Before I before I but before I press play, same thing applies, everyone. We represent music appreciation. Show them some love with the links that I provide in the description. If you like the song and if you like them, go to their YouTube channels and subscribe. Let's represent. Make sure that you represent our ass first, though, and subscribe and like and comment to us. Share us with your other social media sites, please. And lastly, check out our Patreon page. The link is also in the description or on our About page. Very low price tiers for some really cool different types of video reactions. Check it out. So without further ado, let's see what Rick Ross and Meek Mill are all about. Here we go. What is this? Maybach music. I like this Maybach music. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Niggas wanna see you lose when you're making moves. We bringing tools in any rooms. We try to break the rules. Niggas is haters, dang goons. We try to make the food. I never thought I'd make the fourth before I made the news. Having a threesome with some bitches and still ain't amused. I'm picking truths, put on my juice like I lit the fuse. I call the shots and all the killers be like, what's the move? Honey grand, you and your little man getting split in two. My life got way realer. Playing with the millions and it turned me to a made nigga. Anywhere in the cash, it's how reactive when they play with them. Statements got retracted when niggas spread it, cause we spray niggas. Mafioso, sipping low balls, jumping off the chop to the yacht. Off the Gold Coast, we were so choppers on the block, selling cocoa. Now we treating models like they thought, selling Soho. 30 million cash, do these niggas bad? They never thought I'd go this far just from a pen and pad. I see my dog, kill my dog, just to get a stash. He went up top, they bang him out, got that nigga slash. Too much money and power, walk up in the spot, a bunch of stuffers, we talking to chop. Too much money and power. Hustling 24 hours. Too much money and power. Stumble to the pounds with a baddie to fuck in the shower. Too much money and power. Hustling 24 hours. I left a team of niggas in the red tape. Digging through their pockets, left their shoes unlaced. Homicide on another case. Mouth wide, gold teeth with a pale face. My niggas couldn't read, had impediments. But they never would leave any evidence Your mother still in pain, it been a few days But you know this all it came with minimum wage They thought it was a game till the shots rang Six niggas laying on the same box frame How you dead broke but got a dope charge Gotta rob a bank just to post bond Got a chopper with me for the ghost calls Helicopter on the roof cause I won't walk Killing niggas in the streets, I call it a feast 20 million I could see and all in a week, boss. We only on the yachts for tequila shots. Huh. It's only baby we that when we lead a lot. Calamari in California, yeah, I wanna kiss. All you envious devil demons, you can suck a dick, bitch. Oh, you die slow with your blindfold. Huh. Your bitch still at home with her mind blown. Huh. I got a pool of Paris and some buffaloes. And I got a pool in Paris and a bungalow. Still flipping numbers, talking summer sauce. Everybody get to eat, that's when I wanna call I'm sipping champagne, I own it myself You niggas better learn to own you some wealth Too much money and power, walk up in the spot A bunch of steppers, we talking to chop Too much money and power Hustling 24 hours Too much money and power, stumble to the pounds With a baddie to fuck in the shower Too much money and power Hustling twenty four hours. All right, so first of all, did you hear him say the name Shaq or Kobe in this in the rap at all? I'm not. Yeah. I didn't go blank. Did yeah. I? You did? No. Yeah, he did. Uh, definitely. Oh. Uh, def definitely. Rick Ross did for sure. Because when he first came in, his first part of his verse, he said something like the ACC. That's that's what he started with. Shaq. I forget exactly what the line was, but he definitely said it. 
Oh, okay. Because I was like, wow, I didn't even hear the title. That that happened once. Do you remember this song? I forget how it goes, but it was, the song was called Clint Eastwood. They didn't say Clint or Eastwood anywhere in the song, but it was somehow relating to Clint Eastwood. Do you know about that story? I yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So it, made, it made me think of that. I was like, they didn't even say Shaq or Kobe. So, all right. So you heard it. Okay. Whatever. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this word twice. I haven't said it in a while, and now I'm saying it twice in the same night they were recording. But it was very swagadocious, especially Rick Ross. He's got that deep, bassy ass type of Barry White slash rap voice. He was all type of swag. The words was just smooth like butter coming out of his mouth. Um, so he was my favorite vocally because he just stood out. Um, and Meek Mill did his thing. Like, you know, I, I heard the I heard the words. It had clarity, which is my big thing. Um and he had a flow too, but Rick Ross was my personal favorite, as I stated. Um, you know, it was just them vibing and showing their wealth and that Rick Ross playing in the background. Like, I want a plane like that that says Taz on it with a giant whirlwind. You know, yeah. shut up, Philly. That would be bad yeah. as hell. You better buy a model and some glue and you can you have one. <laughs> Hey, you better be nice to me. I've been playing that Powerball and that Mega Million, brother. All right. Well, I hope you hit it then. Yeah, I know you hope I hit it. <laughs> uh -huh, I'll be your super duper bestie. You be like, hey, <laughs> Taz, how you doing, Taz? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but anyway, yeah, the, the rap was swagadocious. You know, I, I like the vibe off of it. It's cool that they're still around because you know a lot of the old school rappers. Are doing something completely different. I mean, they're definitely not on the microphone stand anymore. So it was cool that they came back. And with all the views that they got, that means that they're still what's the word I'm looking for? They're still known and loved because obviously it shows, you know, the proof is in the pudding. So what do you have to say about everything you saw and heard, Billy? Um, it's it's more or less what I kind of thought it would be. I like the beat. It's like it had that typical Maybach, like Rick Ross flair. Yeah, I know. I, I like Rick as a, as a lyricist. I like his voice, too. I mean, I think he's a good. But they, they complement each other well. They sound very different, but they complement each other well. Um, but, you know, it's interesting. Like, I think like a lot of today's hip hop is is a lot of the, the same stuff. I mean, it's either really, really sexualized or it's about you know money and you know or drugs or whatever and wealth and you know showing off your planes and your jewelry and it's it's a lot of the same stuff um which i don't have any problem with that i just think we've seen it a million fucking times which is which is why i like some of the underground stuff that you don't necessarily hear on the mainstream stuff you know i i like lyricists um which i think these guys are but i don't think that's all they you know it's not it's not all you really have to talk about i like hearing about other things too so um but with that being said, I, I did like the song. It had a cool vibe to it. You could definitely bob your head to it. Um, and uh, it, it, it is kind of what I expected. So um, I don't know if they have an album out together or this is just one song they collabed on, but curious to check out a little more. Um, you know, it's obviously still dropping music, both of them. And this just came out recently. So I'm sure there's more to, you know, to follow soon. So we have to check out uh, whatever else they have coming out in the near future. So. Uh, I don't know, Taz, do you have any more thoughts? If not, then well, I guess we can get into voting for it. Yeah, Philly just covered it all. So let us know in the deets. Because a lot of stuff, I know we can easily find out this shit on Google, but Google is boring as hell. So if you know the deets, like Philly alluded to, like is this like a one-time song that they did or did they collab with a whole album? Let us know. Um, but yeah, it was cool that they came and did their thing. Because, um, you know, I'm... I'm very reminiscent of the old times. Like the eighties was my favorite time period of musically. That was, I, I love the eighties. So, um, I like all that. So, uh, so yeah, let us know. But other than that, let's vote. All right. It is time to vote everybody. So thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, what this is, is ass or a pass. It's thumbs up, thumbs down. Did the song suck ass? Did the song not suck? Not ass. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Taz will count to three. A drum roll. We will rate together, and then we will move on to the next one. Taz, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Three, two, one. Boom for both of them. Yeah. Both of them. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Um, 
I know there's going to be a lot of uh, subscribers that we have out here, the current ones, that we're not going to like this song. I can just picture a few already that are going to come in the comments and say this is not their cup of tea, and I respect it. Not everybody's cup of tea. But, hey, if it is your cup of tea or you like more of their songs, you know, let us know. We'll, we'll check, check everything out. Uh, we really appreciate everybody. And if you're new to the channel, if you come in based off of this, thank you for being here. Um, and, and please let us know what songs you would like us to react to. So until next time, I'm Philly. It's Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show. Have a wonderful night. Peace. Take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs> Very good. That's a wrap.